Hello dear friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Mukesh English. Dear friends, in this video we are going to have a discussion of the second semester BCA BSc Generic English September October 2022 examination question paper. So we are going to discuss the September October 2022 examinations question paper of second semester BCA BSc Generic English under Bangalore University. Duration for the examination is 2 hours 30 minutes and the time is maximum 60 marks. So the section A consists 40 marks and the questions will be asked from the workbook. To begin with, question number 1. Summarize the passage in 75 to 100 words in a, and also give a suitable title. So you need to read the passage and you need to, answer, you need to summarize the passage and you need to also give the title and this question has the five marks weightage so you can go through the question you can go through the passage which is on your screen then the answer one third summarize in the sense you need to write the one third one third summary of the given passage so the title can be given after reading this passage nuclear families in today's context and you try to summarize it you try to give the gist of the passage then second question again you have a passage here and the passage could be like this people carry false notions about medicines which influence the use and habits this intervention successfully changed behavior and could bring awareness on many aspects of medicine usage medicine use was influenced by certain fixed ideas about now costly brands injections quality of medicines at public hospital multinational company brands and self-medication so like this one passage will be given and based on the and you need to answer few questions based on the passage like find a word in the above passage which means misleading or deceptive so we, you need to find the similar word which has this meaning so we find here the answer is here false notion false notion First notion, we need to find this word from the passage. Secondly, write antonym for the word success. So the success antonym is failure. And this word failure can easily be seen in the passage. Then add an appropriate prefix or suffix. So you need to add the prefix or suffix to the word cultural and measure. For the cultural, we can say uncultured or we can say agricultural. For measure, we can say measurable. So these are the two marks questions. Then another two marks questions you have here, you need to write the appropriate word or the phrase which is given in the bracket. So I quite understand your difficulty. So the answer is here, Q-U-I-T-E, quite. Then can you make time to meet us this week? Can you do time? Do time is wrong. Can you make time to meet us this week? So the appropriate word of the phrase is for two marks. Next, third, fourth question, you need to write the two sentences for the word, for the word given below with meaning. So with different meanings, meaning there should be different meaning. So for example, the a word is given here, park, P-A-R-K. So please don't park your vehicle here. So here, park here refers to as a verb. So let's go to the park tomorrow. In the second sentence, park here refers to the noun so in the first sentence please don't park your vehicle here the word park here refers to verb second sentence let's go to the park tomorrow here park here refers to the noun so in this manner you need to prepare the two different sentences with the different context so this is for two marks now again you have a passage you have passage and you need to answer the questions based on the passage so you can go through this passage written or you can go through the passage on your screen so it's quite long one it takes time to read so you can have a reading then you need to answer the questions based on the passage so question number one what is the force or law help in so according to the passage the force of law helps in transforming irresponsible citizen into responsible ones State the role played by the police in the day, in in the day-to-day -day life of men. 
the police is responding for protecting privileges of all citizens check violent activities that prevail within the society and ensure peace among citizens by safeguarding one's own individual rights what is the central idea of the passage the passage discusses the role of the army and the police in different circumstances then fourth question from the passage what has a supreme control of law and order situation of the state the supreme control of law and order in a state in the is in the hands of home minister who is responsible to the state assembly and is assisted by the inspector general of police igp <clears throat> home secretary and the other bureaucrats then question number 5 what do we call as bad citizens they often seem to be reluctant in terms of their willingness to follow the laws so this is how the passage refers to the five marks so five marks you can easily get if you read the passage thoroughly and answer the question to the point don't copy the five six lines all together just find out the gist of the answer so passage is for five marks now answer any three of the following questions in a sentence or two so this is a two marks questions for each and you need to opt you need to opt three questions each for two marks six marks and what do these what is the topic you refer to these six marks questions will be based on the topic listening listening skill so number 1 write any two barriers to effective listening answer a lack of listening preparation poorly structured or poorly delivered messages or prejudice they are the barriers to effective listening pseudo listening is also known as fake listening it's wrong false statement what are the first two stages of listening the first two stages here refers to the the five stages we can say receiving understanding evaluating remembering and responding then who can use critical thinking critical thinking is crucial for many career paths not just for scientists but lawyers doctors reporters engineers accountants analysts they all have to use a critical thinking in their positions write any two steps to be followed by while preparing oneself to listen so we can say when you are preparing to listen always have the proper eye contact don't start planning what to say next so these are the out of the five questions you need to attempt here three questions so six marks questions from the listening next question you need to convert the passage into reported speech so there is nothing you can do about it it's go- it's no good we will have to wait we'll just have to ask for mona said john snapped oh mind your own business and walked away from her so three marks question for the reported speech you need to convert this direct speech into the reported speech uh, so better to use a past tense monica told john that there was nothing he could do about it and also told him to ask for it john told her to mind her own business and he walked away from her so this is how you can convert the indirect speech uh, you can convert the indirect into the reported speech direct to indirect speech for three marks reported speech for three marks six question you need to draft the speeches the six question he referred to the speech writing welcome speech word of thanks speech and the speech writing he refers to the three marks what's the weightage the weightage is here three marks so we have a question as the student secretary of your college draft a word of thanks speech for environment day so you can write the answer like this good morning everyone i am rakesh sharma the secretary of our college eco club it gives me immense pleasure to render word of thanks on the occasion of environment day to begin with i would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to vandana shiva vandana shiva to vandana shiva the esteemed chief guest who has accept who has accepted our invitation on a very short notice thank you ma'am 
thank you madam for gracing the occasion i extend my thankful note to our beloved principal dr tejesh shah for the encouragement to conduct such programs thank you sir i also thank all the teachers for the unconditional support i thank all the students participants to witness this program thank you once again so this is how you can draft the word of thanks a word of thanks speech for three marks so first it should be with the greetings and say about you who are you then the content of the speech and then the thank you uh, complimentary close or the thanking uh, statement you we, you will be having an option as i told you that you will be asked two questions either the word of thanks or welcome speech you can attempt any one so in the option we have question you have a question inauguration of literary club is going to be held in your college draft a welcome speech good morning everyone today we have gathered here to inaugurate our literary club it gives me immense pleasure to render what of thanks to render i'm sorry to render welcome speech please do correct i i extend uh, sorry good morning everyone today we have gathered here to inaugurate our literary club it gives me immense pleasure to render welcome speech please do correct welcome speech on this occasion to extend to begin with i extend my welcome note to our chief guest dr sudha sharma the the not worthy author the we welcome you ma we welcome you madam i also welcome our principal dr nitesh chauhan for gracing the occasion thank you sir i must not fail to welcome the craftsman of this program mr dhirendra gowda the faculty coordinator literary club welcome you sir i welcome all the teachers and my friends to be a part of this program welcome you all so this is how you need to welcome greet everybody say about you give an introduction about on which topic you are going to welcome then you welcome everyone and say the thanks note to everybody thank you so much so this welcome note and the word of thanks for three marks anyone anyone you can opt then you have your short essay writing questions remember not large not long essays only for the five marks weightage so maximum one page so the three topics so here the three topics have been given in your question paper importance of education indian festivals and the gadget so i i have not mentioned the answer of this question because the essay writing answer varies from person to person i have just given limelight an idea how to write an essay to write any paragraph or any essay three important topics three important elements are here one is called the title second is called the here topic sentence topic sentence in two or the three lines you should write in such a manner it should reflect that you are speaking on you writing on which topic then the content then the concluding remark then the concluding remark about your essay so topic sentence content and the concluding remark of the essay or the paragraph writing then moving up next the last question from the workbook is here dialogue writing for five marks again you will be having an option one is dialogue writing one is completion of the dialogue so first we have a question write a dialogue between doctor and patient discussing the side effects of excessive painkillers medicines so patient says good morning doctor may i come in good morning how are you you do look you you do look quite pale this morning yes doctor i have not been feeling well for the past few days i have been having stomach ache for a few days and feeling a bit dizzy since yesterday okay let me check does it hurt you here yes doctor the pain there is in the sharpest he checks the stomach uh, well you are suffering from stomach infection that's the reason you are having a stomach ache uh, also getting dizzy did you change your diet recently or have something unhealthy actually i went to a fair last week and ate food from the stalls here okay so you are probably suffering from food poisoning since the 
food stalls in fairs are quite unhygienic there's a high chances there's a high chance that those uncovered food might have caused food poisoning i think i will never eat any unhygienic place on any unhygienic place in the future doctor that's good i'm prescribing some medicines have them for one week and come back for a checkup please try to avoid spicy and fried foods for now okay doctor thank you welcome so when you're writing dialogue keep in the mind there should be a good reciprocal you say something there's a response from the other speak other listener secondly use the punctuations very appropriately use the punctuations appropriately so there should not be any error so you have one more question for dialogue completion here half of the dialogues will be given so if you look at the screen here you can see i have highlighted those highlighted dialogues are the answers so based on the previous dialogue you need to plan so doctor says what can i do for you so what's maybe your answer i have toothache how long have you have you had this pain it's been for two days did you do did you do anything that might have aggravated aggravated your tooth yes i had ice cream what kind of toothbrush to use i use normal soft one does it bother you when you eat something really cold yes it bothers whenever i drink when i drink cold drinks cool drinks or the cold drinks so the highlighted one you need to answer underline and you need to highlight it so that you can get uh, i think 5 4 5 marks 5 marks so dialogue writing is for the 5 marks so now we are moving to the section b 20 marks questions from the course book so to begin with you'll be having two marks five questions out of seven questions you need to attempt two marks for the five marks each so who kept seven questions are asked you need to answer only five question number 1 who kept guard at the well in the story cops in the well answer is anna and ramoshi what's answer anna and ramoshi where did the fish birds rabbits perish in the poem earth never dies fish birds rabbits have perished in the waters trees burrows respectively means to say fish uh, perish into the water birds perish into the trees and the rabbits perish into the burrows how did ivan lose his happiness while enjoying the opera because he sneezed he sneezed and because of that he lost his happiness while enjoying the opera opera or opera opera he sneezed why did refugee the refugee leave the village the flooding of the river has forced the farmers of an unnamed country to leave their homelands and look for food and shelter in the capital a few hundred miles away how did the narrator feel when he saw anna getting cursed and accused and abused in the story a corpse in the well because it was a shock to his young mind he heard this curses he heard their curses the threats the shouting the shouting he thought it was injustice to his father what is the culprit of friendship as mentioned in the fourth stanza of the poem bonds of friendship what's answer pursuing of self interest or time is the culprit of friendship what's answer pursuing of self interest or time is the culprit of friendship as mentioned in the poem bonds of friendship last question of for two marks what is the condition of the refugees as they walk through, through the streets in the new capital city so those refu these refugees these refugees were fed after a fashion clothed somehow sheltered in mats in great in the great campus outside the city wall they were fed after a fashion clothed somehow sheltered in mats in great campus in great camps outside the city wall 
So these are the two marks questions you need to attempt here. Five questions you should attempt. Now we are moving to the last segment of the question paper. Five marks questions. Sorry, five marks questions. You need to attempt only two questions. Out of three or four questions, you need to attempt only two questions. Question number one. How does act of sneezing become a matter of importance in the story, the death of a government clerk? Now the answer is here. <clears throat> the death of the government clerk is a comedic short story by Russian playwright Anton Chekhov. First published in the year 1883, it involves Ivan, a clerk, who, is, who accidentally sneezes at an important general, Briz Hello. <clears throat> Sorry. Though the general nearly instantly forgives him, Ivan panics and he is unable to recover from the mistake, whose psychological weight ultimately becomes fatal. Like many of Chekhov's works, the death of a government clerk mocks the absurd logic of bureaucracies and the other modern power relations. It has been adapted into both a cartoon and a film. The short story begins with Yvonne reclining in a stall at the opera, relaxing to the beautiful music. He sneezes but manages to catch most of it with his handkerchief. When he glances around the box to see if his sneeze offended anyone, he is horrified to see an older man wiping his neck with his glove. He recognizes the man as General Prizhello of the Department of Transport. While Prizhello neither works with nor knows Yvonne, Yvonne panics and whispers an embarrassed apology. Prizhello replies, never mind. An expression just open-ended enough to cause Ivan even more anxiety. Ivan decided to elaborate with some context to help the general understand that he truly did not mean to sneeze on him, but only irritates the general. After apologizing several more times, Ivan becomes uncomfortable at the opera. He begins to perceive inaccurately a malicious glimmer in the general's eyes and concludes that the general must secretly believe that he intentionally spit on him. Once at home, Ivan tells a story <clears throat> to his wife. She is initially worried that they may be in trouble but is relieved when she finds out that he is from a different part of the government. Navely, she speculates that it would be some good for Ivan to go and apologize again in person. At work the next day, Ivan wears a new uniform and travels to the general's office to apologize yet again. When he gets there, he is impeded by a group of petitioners who are being interviewed by the general. He waits for a while. When edges in after one, Petitioner concludes and apologizes for his lack of manners. Briz Hello completely ignores him and continues to focus on the petitioners. Again, Yvonne reads his reaction as ambiguous, ambiguous and concludes directly that Briz Hello is still angry about the sneeze after the interviews and he apologizes again, causing Briz Hello some frustration as he explains that it seems Ivan is mocking him with his incessant apologies, continuous apologies. At this, Ivan is offended and decides to stop trying to get through with his apology. Once back at home, Ivan tries to compose a letter to Briz Hello but suffers from writer's block. He resolves a final time to go back to the general's office to, to apologize. This time, there are no petitioners and he approaches him directly. 
Briz Hello is clearly upset at Ivan's imprudence and orders him to leave. Despairing, despairing, Ivan goes home but falls deeply ill while walking and barely makes it home. When he finally enters his house, he lies on the couch and dies. The trivial, unnecessary death of the death of the cells, death of the great government clerk, points out humorously to the strange ironies and experiences of strained deference to an arbitrary social order and its accompanying set of norms of interaction, which often, which often obfuscate, obfuscate rather than illuminate the meaning. So this is the one question. Now we are moving to the question number two for five marks. What saved poet's heart from getting ruined in the story Bonds of Friendship? Sorry, in the poem Bonds of Friendship, as the poet and his friend pursued their interest. In this course, the pursuing of self-interest affected their friendship and life. The poet says that in that separation span, they forget, they forgot their youthful bliss, carefree, carefree years. They had no, they had no communication, and hence, hence, they could not share the pain and tears. When the poet realized the absence of his friendship, which tried him to his core, he introspected to save his heart from ruin. He said. I closed and locked the door. In this process of introspection and recollection of past thoughts, he viewed his friend's old familiar smile. It seemed to him it just happened yesterday. He recollects that his friend listened him with attractive care and reassured him, reassured his mindset or his mind. Now, moving up to the next question. What has man done to the nature in the poem, Earth Never Dies? What has man done to the nature? So, Sundar's poem, or Sun, O Sundar's poem, Earth Never Dies, begins with a more solemn tone, almost elegiac. Elegiac, elegiac. So, in this elegiac tone, Osunder means, the poet means, this poem is something that would be read at a funeral. It could also be sung as a funeral song. By the opening lines of the poem, we hear some sort of the pain the poet is feeling due to the suffering of earth. So the poet says, lynch the lakes, slaughter the seas, mold, mold the mountains, but our earth will not die. The poet is comparing the way we treat the earth to the treatment of slaves. Slaves were lynched, slaughtered, and whipped and mauled by dogs. Sundar, the poet, used these images of slavery to show that the earth is like a human and the thing we to do, we should do to it are very much inhuman. The things we are doing to this earth are inhuman just as slaves were people with worth, the earth is a home and should be treated as such. But no matter what we do it, the poet does not hesitate to remind that the earth will survive this disgrace just as the slaves did on the march to the freedom. The poet's usage Sundar's use, usage of personification is phenomenal and it could be seen in the line a lake a lake of a lake is killed by the arsenic a lake is killed by the arsenic urine from the bladder of profit factories he personifies a factory as a person with some sort of bladder infection so this person release violent toxic urine every time they decide to relieve themselves into the river. So this is interesting because it shows how helpless nature is. 
nature cannot stop the toxic waste being dumped into its life the poet also gives the c c the human characteristics he says coughing chaos in the sickly sea so again c is personified the sea is sick and coughing up this nastiness is polluted in its waters but again the poet does not neglect to tell us that the earth will live on so now we are moving to the last question cops in the well demonstrates the unjust practices of indian society and humiliation of mahars explain the statement a cops in the well is an extract from the book taral antral an autobiography by shankar ramchandra kharat an established dalit writer in the post independence indian literature scene the story's primary themes seem to be seem to be on emphasizing the difference between power that exists in the villages and how the mahars or the dalits are treated cruelly and in an almost subhuman fashion the unfair method in which they are boosted they are bossed around serves to highlight a broken system and ideology in the story the boy's father referred to only by the title called anna anna is performing his village duties a corps had been found recently in the well and the mahar on duty that is anna was assigned to guard it until the police arrive anna had been waiting at the well for the entire night when his son the narrator arrives to give him some food the father in an the father in an exemplary display of loyalty towards his duty refuses refuses saying that he will only eat once relieved of his duties at this point of time the police arrived and ordered anna to fetch the body from the well anna the son anna refuses initially he doesn't uh, he doesn't accept it noticing the policeman's flaring temper he enters the well a snake in the well's shallow water causes a fright in both the son and the father but eventually the body and anna are successfully drawn up from the well as the son heads home he reflects on the injustice and the deadly work involved in the village duty the head constable or the policeman is depicted in quite a negative light throughout the story the fact that he a police officer is supposed is a police officer a very supposed implementer of the law he resorts to such primeval means of discrimination to get his job done induces a sick sort of irony in the reader so the theme of justice is one of the one of the premieres the entire story that covers the whole story the mahars and ramoshis loyally loyalty and wholeheartedly serves the village is shown in many examples throughout the story anna's refusal to eat while on duty is one and another could be his risking of life to recover the body from the well and yet another is the respect that the ramoshis and mahars show the constable so when the later arrives when the ramoshi when the mahars when the mahar arrives or the later arrives the mahars have led out a um, led out uh, we can say a manger of grass and a pail of fresh water to state the horse thirst thus when the mahars behave in such a fashion the reader feels greatly shocked and appalled by the way that the policeman responds to such bravery and loyalty towards duty he abuses them and threatens to beat them this obvious abuse of power this obvious abuse of power combined with the father's air of surrender presents throughout the story such as his giving into pressure from the policeman 
coupled with a line where he says who cares if a mahal lives or dies it serves to but also strengthen the theme of injustice rife throughout the story when the constable begins to to threaten anna pressuring pressurizing himself to retrieve the body from the well the surrounding village elders surrounding village elders respond by saying sarkar you will go away from here you will leave this poor mahar to his fate we want to go on living in this village we want to continue to live in this village so in the above in the above lines we have seen the author is convincing the reader the threat of communal violence neighboring villages from whence the cops in the well may have come would not respond positively to the kinsmen being touched by members of a lower caste thus the mahars in the community are responding not out of empathy and pity for the mahars on the duty but more so out of fear and an attack serving to reinforce the aforementioned concept of injustice so dear friends this is how i have tried to answer the questions of the of the second semester bsc bca september october 2022 question paper please do refer to the textbook Text, textbook is the primary source of information so i wish you good success in your examination and if you are not at liked if you are not at click on the like button click on the like button write in the comment box and moreover you can find all the lessons and the grammars videos links in the description box kindly go through the disc description box you can go through all the chapters in details with the help of my videos thank you so much for watching please do subscribe the channel